welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel once again on the Yesu FTDX10. Uh, somebody was asking me about um, you know checking standing wave and um, checking the power output levels and so on, and it's really cool because in the touch screen you just touch the meter and then you have all of these functionalities that are here that give you all of that so you can switch SWR and when you transmit you'll see your SWR um, and of course you can tune the receiver to change that into something that maybe the auto tuner can actually adjust better in general my SWR is very low it stays at 1.0 very close to 1.0 the only place I have a little higher, maybe 1.2-ish, uh, is on the 160 meter band, which isn't bad anyways, still. You know, it's not like going to 2 or 3 or whatever. The auto-tuner in this FTDX10 actually uh, can match usually anything under 3. So even if you're at 2, 2.5, the auto-tuner will uh, pretty much all the time find a spot where it can tune but above three it won't and actually when you're above three holding the tune will just do nothing it, you're gonna hear one click and that's it why because it looked and it knows that it's too far off to tune actually i'm impressed on how well it works uh, the audio tuner on this one um it's much better than the ft450 uh, for tuning any bands and especially with the type of antenna that i have with the um the Balan Transformer, um, it's it's kind of interesting to uh, to see how well it actually does tune it. Um, and really, really I'm impressed. Um, right now I can tune pretty much every band. Uh, six meters is also, you know, 160 and six meters are the two probably worst for the tuning. It doesn't, you know, I have a little bit of standing wave. Like, like I said, it stays under 1.5. And usually under 1.5, it isn't that bad. So, um, but it, in general, every band tunes well on, uh, on the radio. It's really, really cool. So, press a meter. You have the ALC to see if you're, uh, you know, going overboard. Maybe, because uh, you got to be careful not to over-modulate and over... Uh, especially in digital modes, you got to check that to make sure that you don't go overboard when transmitting. Because you could create distortion, you can create harmonics of all sorts. So these are things to check out. This is a Iona sound that you can actually follow it probably here. Look at that. Can I follow it? It's going too fast actually. <laughs> but um, so these are things to check out. The compression, um, power output, which gives you how much watts you're actually transmitting. And the power output and the SWR are actually tied together. So you can, if you're not, you know, if I put myself 100 watts on SSB and I don't fully go to 100 watts, then maybe I could check the um, the standing wave. It could be that the standing wave is higher, which means the output power is lowered. It's not reflected to the full power of the radio. And you got to be careful because too much SWR could uh, fry the uh, amplifier, the RF amp. Uh, because it generates too much heat. Uh, a host of nice, really nice features in here. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the Yesu as, uh, you know, the features it has and, and what I like. And, of course, we'll talk more of the technical side of it on the uh, VA2 ZLI channel that I need to make videos more of. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.